Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much-anticipated main event. 12 rounds, middleweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Mayweather's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Bazooka's on his way to take this tough challenge. Remember what we're talking about. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. Teddy, what should we look for early? We've heard so much about his jab. Is it as simple as that? Yeah, it is. For him, it is. I mean, not just from the offensive end, the defensive end, and also a range finder. You know, it gets the distance that he needs to complete everything else. Good block by Money. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. With a matchup like this, Teddy, of boxer versus brawler, who do you really have more confidence in that they can pull off the win? You know, in one way you could say the brawler because he's got that eraser. He could pull it out of the fire, but I'm going to go with the guy who's probably more rounded athletically has to do more things because he didn't have that great gift of power. He's had to learn to do other things. And if he's forced to fight in the spot, those other things aren't working, he'll be able to do that. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Bazooka's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Money's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And the round comes to an end. Bazooka's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Blocks away that headshot. Mayweather's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. This is a defense. Good smooth work by Bazooka. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, what an exchange. Money's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Let's see some more head movement, Jack. Come on. Good block there by Money. Bazooka's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Money's defense. Is it ever good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Ten seconds remaining in this round. You gotta let your hands go, champ. You hear me? You have to. You have to be busy out there. This guy's beat. Now, if you throw three or four punches in a row, you can turn this thing around. But you have to. And round number three is underway. Laying a trap there for a moment and then scoring that counter punch by Money. Not able to connect with the uppercut. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Mayweather's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Good block. Mayweather's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Last 10 seconds. Trickle, trickle, trickle. Don't stand in front of him. Where's your body work? It's the body. You gotta land a big punch now, champ. Start of round number four. Easy scorecard to put together. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Bazooka. Bazookas now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Nice block by Money. Left hand came after the jab. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away Keep after taking move. one. Bazooka's defense is paying off now. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Bazooka's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good block there by Bazooka. Money's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. 
Ten seconds to go in this round. You just can't move around. You got to move with your hands in there. Let them things go. You're okay. Don't worry. You're doing just fine, all right? I just need you to move your head more from side to side. Round number five has arrived. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Bazooka's putting forth a great combination there. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Move. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Bazooka's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Mayweather's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Move your head. Come on, baby. Move your head. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Mayweather's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. In and out. In and out. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. And a well-placed counter by Money. Mayweather showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Money's hit by a counter punch there. Up top with the right hand. Finish with the hooks. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. There's the combo to the body. Hello. Not precise at all by Money. Keep working, Jeff. Double up, double up your foot. Halfway through round six. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Bazooka's looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Good return fire that time. Bazooka is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Mayweather's well off the mark that time. Focus. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Money's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it 
and see it as clear as day, he's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Unable to land clean by money. Back and forth exchange. Bazooka's missing punches here. Now, the good news is he's throwing punches, but Teddy needs to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. He should throw them downstairs. This guy's moving his head. On, you go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find them upstairs. Good job on the two-punch combo by Bazooka. Keep moving. You've got to see that coming now. Come on. At the halfway point of round seven. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him by money. Money's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And now another left. Work the body. Bazookas body. hit to the head. You're still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Move. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see. Good baby. combination to the body. Final 10 seconds. Almost done. You had it that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. Hey, don't waste it. But I want you to keep those hands moving. Seven rounds complete. Teddy's scorecard has it one-sided. Mayweather's score a knockdown. No, but it kind of makes you think a little bit about another sport. You know, the great basketball player Michael Jordan used to always say, let the game come to you. Don't force yourself on the game. That's exactly what he's doing. He's allowing the fight to be what it should be, to come to him. He's not trying to force something that he shouldn't. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Nice! Punch, punch, that's it! Mayweather's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Yeah, baby, good work, good work! Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. They both decide to bring it. Mayweather's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Money's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Back to the body. Up and down side. Bazooka's punch didn't come close. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Money. Mayweather's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. That was yet another round where he just looked like the fresher, better conditioned fighter. And here in these later stages of this fight, that's where you get the payoff. Well, the payoff is what we heard. We heard about coming into this fight then in training camp, they were doing five-minute rounds. We heard that, Joe. Not three-minute, five-minute rounds. 
He's getting the benefit right now of that. Well played, straight keep right hand. Come on, keep Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Come on, Money's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Ninety seconds into the ninth round, Money's able to avoid that punch. Very accurate two-punch combo by Bazooka. Bazooka's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Great hook to the head that time. Hey, you got to get some of that too. Now, come on. Money's combination punching is working well here. Good exchange. He fires back. Targeting each other. The exchange was something special. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Bazooka. Boy, another solid round for him. Teddy, this is one of the best displays of precision punching we've ever seen. And if precision had a relative, had a cousin, guess who it would be? It would be timing, because the timing has been perfect and has allowed him to be so precise. Keep working the body. Able to dismiss that body shot. There you go. Look at good. Look at good. That's what we worked on at the gym. Good job. Mayweather's good doing job. exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Bazooka's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Halfway through round 10. Keep Money's doing, doing, doing well here with that two-punch combination. That's an impactful right hand by Money. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Bazooka's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Flush right hand to the head. Coming to the end of round number 10, 10 seconds to go. Fires off the hook. Look at that. And that's the end of round 10. Well, you would know better than I would, but you put in all that road work, all that great conditioning work, and I suppose this is where it pays off. Here we are, round number 11. He's well up on your scorecard. He's not even breathing hard. No, and he's not complaining now like he was. He was fooling around with us before the fight when we were interviewing him. He was telling us that, you know, when he had to run those hills, his training was making him run with the knapsack of sand, you know, 20, 30 pounds of sand in that knapsack. He's not complaining right now. He's seeing the benefits of that. And a strong offensive showcase, the combination by Money. Mayweather's being so very effective, punching in combination. And yeah, that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. 
He gets hit, but he gives it right back. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through this 11th round. Money scoring with that right hand. Keep the distance. Took a shot. Now he gets boom. Left hand comes home. He's just big, big shot comes crashing home. He is down on the floor after taking that shot. And there's a lot of time left in the round. Stand up, stand, stand, stand. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Money. There it is! He goes down thanks to that non-stop attack. It's like he was thrown into a blender of punches. And round 11 comes to an end. Bazooka's margin for error is hardly anything at all now. It's later in the fight, and time and time again, he's allowing his opponent to land these headshots. Yeah, you got to remind them, you're not getting paid any bonus, no extra money for taking punches. You might get paid a little extra if you start delivering some, though. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Bazooka is fighting a completely different fight right now. He went down earlier, and you can say that he's just throwing that strategy, that original game plan, right in the garbage. Well, it's showing you that he's a thinking man's fighter. He had to make an adjustment. You know, he would have had no chance to survive and to later win this fight if he stayed with the same plan. He had to come up with a little bit of a change. And that's exactly what he's done. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Bazooka's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Keep your head moving. Keep your head moving. Oh, and they decide to trade there. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. It's all right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Bazooka is now feeling the Let's effects, there, Teddy, of having on, his opponent see. punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the... He is damaged badly. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. That was a dominating performance tonight. Yeah, this is one you would think there's no drama in the reading of the scorecards. Let's hear those scorecards and send it up to the ring. Mayweather's dominant.